you guys so what i'm gonna do today is show you some simplicity patterns that i just picked up from joann's now this is kind of like part two of the alden pants and the reason why is because i want to do a pant series next month in the month of october so if that's some content you would like to see keep on watching <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, we will be talking about all dim pants, but simplicity edition. Now, if you are new to the channel, hello, ciao, guten tag, hola, aloha, waguan, konnichiwa. If you like what you see, subscribe for more. And if you are returning, you know what to do. Go get your coffee, your tea, your water, whatever you want to drink and come back and take, and let me take you on this ride with these patterns. Now, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this video. All right, so you guys, I went to Joann's and I picked up five patterns from Joann's that are simplicity. And then I went to my pattern stash and pulled out four patterns um, from simplicity. All right. Now, so I have roughly like a total of 10 patterns I want to show you and you may have these patterns as well. But the reason why I am doing this as kind of like a part two of all them pants that I showed I want to say about a week, week and a half ago from McCall's is because I am doing a pant series next month in the month of October. And I just want to sew some pants to put in my wardrobe. And I want to share those with you simply because I know when I did the McCall uh, patterns, all them pants, you guys were excited to see some of those. And what my goal is, is to sew anywhere from six to eight pairs of pants next month in the month of October to put in my wardrobe. I may be choosing some McCall's and some Simplicity. Now, those are the only two brands that I want to choose strictly for my pants. Now, I do not know which ones I will be choosing just yet. It's just a thought because we're in the month of September, so I will be sharing those things next month in the month of October or at the end of this month when I, when I do my plans video for October, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into which patterns I picked up. Now I do have my notes here. So if I'm looking down, I'm looking down at my notes and the patterns that um, I picked up. All right. So the first pattern that I picked up is a Mimi G's pattern is Simplicity 8889. Now for this pattern, um, it is a shirt and white leg pant pattern. You guys know that I have done this pattern for the top like five times, okay? And I will uh, put these photos that I have done up on the screen. I have also done the pants once in a mustard linen fabric, all right? So I want to do these pants again as part of kind of like a cargo style pants. Um, I wouldn't say that I would do these as a white leg. It's more like a cargo style pant and I have the perfect fabric that I want to use for this, which is a twill fabric. Um, so I think this is one of the ones that I want to put in that stash of when I select the patterns that I wanna do for my pants. Now, this pattern from Mimi G is rated as average. It is also one of those patterns that she does have a sew along for the pattern. Now, I don't remember if I used the sew along or not for this because I did sew this up way back in like 2019, I believe, when I when the pattern first released. I believe this pattern is from 2019. So I sewed the pants when it was first released and I can't remember if I used the sew along or not, but this is one of the first patterns that I want to do for the pants series. All right, so let's move on to the next pattern. The next pattern is 8222, which is another Mimi G pattern. Now, she, now I did pick this one up for the plus size, 8516 because of my hips, okay? So now I have both patterns, Simplicity 8222 and Simplicity 8516. Now this pattern is a skinny jean style pattern. Now, I have made 8222 before. Um, when I say before, when this pattern came out before I was on YouTube, 
and Instagram and all that stuff. Now I made these uh, pants before or skinny jeans before in a leopard fabric. This time I want to use a denim fabric um, that's in my stash. So this may be one that I may do if time permits, okay? I'm not strictly hammering on things that's gonna take a very, very long time, but I do want to make nice pieces to put in my wardrobe. So this is the second pattern, and I believe on the website it's rated as average, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure this would be an average pattern by Mimi G. Let's move on to the next pattern. So the next pattern is Simplicity 9382. This pattern is an overall pattern with ties, right? You have your raised waist and you have like your back ties and everything. Also, this is a straight leg overall in two lengths. It has that shaped raised hem. It has a bib, back ties, button, and a patch pocket. It also has front pleats and a uh, slash pocket as well. Now for me, when I seen this pattern, I knew I was going to be sewing some overalls, okay? Like, let's just be for real. I want some overalls. There is another simplicity pattern that came out in the springtime for overalls, but this one particular stood out to me on sewing some overalls. Now for this pattern, I am looking at doing what the model is wearing to view B on the pattern. So that's the view that I plan on doing when I get around to this pattern, not sure if I'm going to get to it this year or not, but this is one of the patterns that I'm thinking about doing for the pant series. Let's move over to the next pattern. The next pattern is 9471. This is a Mrs. Pants pattern. It's an average to sew pattern. It's a crop pants with front zipper and elastic back waist. It has belt carriers and yoke and three pocket variations. The pant hems are, you can either do wide leg or peg leg or you can even have a back hem um, pant dart at the back of the hem of the pants as well. Now, the reason why, now I just picked this pattern up. I didn't have this pattern. And when I looked on the Simplicity website, I was like, uh, I think I wanna do that. So I wanna do what the model is wearing. And you guys know I will put all of these patterns up on the screen as well, but I want to do view B on this pattern and it's what the model is wearing. So once again, it's Simplicity 9471. Next pattern is 9376. Now this pattern is a Mrs. Pull on trousers. It's an easy to sew pattern. It has pleats and pin tucks all with side front pockets. You have options for your waist ties, belt loops and top stitching. And it does have a clean finish hem, cuffs or elastic as well. So. The reason why I picked up this pattern because that elastic back. So it's like a flat front elastic back in the back. And I thought that that would be a nice thing to do with either like a knit top or a button down shirt or something like that. So this is one that I really would probably be interested in doing for the pant series. Let's move on on to the next pattern. So the next pattern is Simplicity 9290. Now listen. You guys know that I have this pattern in the Butterick pattern, and I believe that pattern number is Butterick 6356. If I'm incorrect, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, okay? Because some numbers run together. So I have this skirty pattern in the Butterick patterns, and I have done this pattern three times this summer, okay? Now, I know you're like, Rochelle, this is not a pant pattern. This is a short pattern, yes because this is one of my TNT patterns for shorts, I could just extend the shorts and make them pants and they will fit perfectly, okay? Because I believe this pattern is a three pattern piece pattern and I think it would work perfect for what I'm looking at doing for my pants series. Now this pattern is a easy to sew pattern and I agree from the website. This pattern also have like your burlo, you uh, bolero, a buster, and then it also have like a um, sarong because I did the sarong uh, skirt for the skirt series, which is still going on by the way. I did not forget to finish that off, um, but I did that on the pattern as well. So I think this may be one that I may do because minimum pattern pieces, not sure, 100% sure, but this is Simplicity 9290. 
Moving on to the next one. The next one is Simplicity 9236. This is an average to sew pant pattern. It's a Mrs. Pull on white leg pants are full length above the knees or pleated into an ankle band. And then it also has inside pockets and also it has outside top stitching as well, which is what drew me to this pattern. Now, the reason why I picked up this pattern is because I like what the model is wearing in view C. And that's the view that I'm interested in doing once I get around to this pattern. This pattern is kind of like one of the ones that would be completely different from what type of pants that I would normally wear. But you guys know that my um, TNT pattern, which is also on the list, 1165. Now, that pattern is out of print. So I'm trying to find a pattern that's similar to that pattern that's not just elastic waist. I'm looking for something that's a flat front elastic waist in the back. I have not found one that I really like as much as 1165 yet, but I am trying to get more on the TNT patterns for pants. And this seems like it's similar. I wouldn't say that it would replace 1165, but I would say that it's similar to that, all right? Moving on to the next pattern. The next pattern is Simplicity 8957, which is a slim leg pants with variation. It's an average to sew pattern as well from the website. And I picked this pattern up simply because I like view D, what the model is wearing on this pattern. So it's a slim leg. So I really do not wear a lot of uh, slim leg or peg leg pants. Most of my jeans are either like boot cut or wide leg. So I picked it up because it's different, to be honest with you. This is one that I just picked up from Joann's and it's $89.57. Moving over to the next pattern. The next pattern is Simplicity, Simplicity 8056. I have sewn this pattern before. I sewed it for Sew It Academy. Um, and I'm gonna put that picture up on the screen. I did this pattern. Actually, I have sewn this pattern twice. Um, the first time I sewn it, I did not like it. I did not photograph in it. It was in a twill fabric um, and it was like a bright bluish with some diamonds and stuff on it. I don't have any photos of it, but I still have the shorts, the Bermuda shorts that I made in my closet, all right? The second time I did it for Sew It Academy, I did it in a black. I paired it with a button down plaid shirt. Love it, still have both pieces, okay? Um, now this is an amazing fit pattern and it fits like a glove, to be honest. Will I be putting this in my pant series next month? It's a high possibility, okay? <laughs> because I know the fit, I know what pattern pieces I need, I know exactly what to do. And this would be my third time sewing these uh, this pattern, but I have sewn it twice in Bermuda shorts. I want it to be pants. So this may be one that I sew in pants. But once again, it's Simplicity 8056. And I believe on the website, it is an average to sew pattern. Don't quote me because I don't have the website up, okay? <laughs> and the last pattern that I picked up from Joann's is Simplicity 8842. This pattern is also an amazing fit pattern. It's a slim leg pants for Mrs. and Petite. Now, the reason why I picked this pattern up is I believe it was Brittany J. Jones who actually sewn these pants in kind of like a floral fabric. I'll put up her picture as well so you can see what I'm talking about. She did the, I believe it's a floral fabric that she used and I love them, okay? I do have a floral similar to that. It's not the exact same print, but I do have a floral in my size that's um, similar to those. And I think a floral would work perfect for these pants. Once again, it is Simplicity 8842. All right, so that's all the patterns that I picked up from Joann's. Well, all of them are not picked up from Joann's. It was only five picked up from Joann's and the other five was pulled from my stash. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have made any of these pants that I have mentioned, please let me know how, you, if the likes, the dislikes, whatever you wanna tell me in the comment section below. Um, also, let me say this before <laughs> I end this video. I know you guys may ask, are you doing a sew along for pants? Um, I'm not 100% sure. 
If I decide to do a sew along, I will definitely let you know when I do my October sewing plans. So before you ask, I'm just going to um, put that out there. I'm not 100% sure if I want to do a sew along for any of these patterns yet. I will definitely let you know once I do my October, October sewing plans video, okay? <laughs> because I have to manage my time with a whole new career, okay? <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> my days are getting shorter and shorter as I speak. All right, so outside of that, please let me know which ones you like, which ones you think I should do as well. You guys always help me decide as well if I'm gonna do a sew along, not do a sew along, which ones I should do first, second, third, whatever, all right? So that's all for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the Benji? Working at nine to five, I had to go and feed the guys. Nobody did it right, I had to show them how to go.